Hello friend, welcome back. In this video, I want to discuss about another two of this array method as a every and then sum. Like I better name it as a array method. Okay, that will be the array array method and array method. Two of this array method I want to discuss about that will be around the every every method. Okay, every method and another will be as a sum method. So now I want to show that things with the live example right now I remove everything okay I remove everything like here I take one of the variable as a numbers and now here that is in our all, all that array data right so this array here I want to do and to check it everything is the positive data or the negative data so if there have any positive data I want to do and to get this all that positive data and that will be displayed as a true so if you want to check it you can check it with the every function just simply remember that function name i take another constant variable okay i take another con constant variable and i just name it as a data okay i name it as a data and then now with our numbers and here i want to do and to call that our every function you can see that is a, one of the methods so there is a every method here with this i want to do and to check it i first of all i load one of the functions into this and with the function i want to do and to pass one of the parameter as a number whatever the name i should choose now i name it as a number okay now i want to do and to return this number that means from here that is a return return on number right so when this number will be as a greater than zero okay then that will be as a greater than zero then i want to do and to get all the data so with this every with this every method it should be check every data in our this array is there have any negative number or or not so right now they have the no negative number right all that are positive number for the reasons now that should be display which things that should be displayed as a true like i check it with the console okay console with the console log i want to do and to check our this data okay i want to do and to check it now everything will be more clear now if you click as a save all now go there click as a refresh and now you can see it's not successfully display as a true like here if they have any minus data that means i make it as a minus two okay that is actually a negative number if you click as a save all now that should be display as a false you can see it's not display as a false okay friend now i want to do i want to uh, call our this sum method so if you use that sum method with this that this method will be check our this array is there have any uh, positive data or not so if there have any pos one positive number okay if there have any one positive number then that will be returned as a true but when you use that as every every method will be check all that number should be as a a positive number okay but when you use that as a sum if there have any one number is a positive and if they have the multiple one as a negative data then it's totally fine that will be displayed as a true i show you like here i want to do to run that sum method right now okay i make it as a sum so before you can say i have already used that as every so you every if there have any negative number one negative number is here but for the reason see it's display as a false so right now i'm using that our sum method so into this sum method area if there have one positive number then that should be displayed as a true so right now they have the uh, multiple one as a positive number only one is the negative number right if you know click as a save all and now that should be display as a true click as a refresh yeah you can see it's now display as a true I hope it's get you get some of the idea with this every method you can check all that your array data that is the positive data or not if with the sum you can check all that your array data that is the um, is one any positive number is or not okay so that is the simple two of this method just simply remember all that method name so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video